covered a lot of things. So is there any anything that we didn't miss? Anything that any area that you want to like, educate or advocate on? Anything that you, we didn't really cover? Well, I would I would just say that it's important if uh, you feel, if client feels, potential client feels that you have a debt problem. You know, the most important thing is to face it and try to resolve it as, as soon as you can. You know, pulling the covers over your head won't make it go away. You know, just ignoring it. I mean, the worst thing somebody can do is ignore a lawsuit for a debt. The other side gets a judgment. And now the judgment starts to accrue interest. So you can imagine some of the horror stories you may have heard. Someone has a debt of $5,000. It goes to judgment. The person ignores it. Well, what happens with, to that judgment over the next 10 years? It collects interest, and then the creditor renews it, and it collects interest again. So you had a $5,000 debt 10 years ago, but now it's $50,000 you know, because of the penalties and interest or, what, or whatever it happens to be, yeah, at least 10% a year. Right. So um, the most important thing about debts is trying to resolve them do that by talking to somebody early and not waiting till the night before foreclosure, not waiting till the night before the sheriff comes and takes the cash register out of your business. You know, if that happens, it's too late. Well, uh, you mentioned that. So that's a, that, that's a sheriff lockout. Is that what you're talking about? Where the unlawful detainer action, is that what you're mentioning or? Uh, well, there, yeah, unlawful detainer, eviction, or, you know, mortgage law, foreclosure. Okay. So those moratoriums are going to expire. In some place, in some parts of the country, they've already expired. So LA County has extended the eviction moratorium, I believe, till the end of September for both commercial and residential tenants. But, you know, once, if, if and when the moratorium expires, if there's no forgiveness of the debt, if there's no payment of the debt, then you could have hundreds of people, hundreds of businesses evicted. And in the middle of in the middle of a pandemic, in the middle of you know recovery from the pandemic, that could be harmful to the people involved. And obviously it could have you know wide-ranging effects on the economy as a whole. Right. So uh yeah, that makes, yeah, I mean, uh, I am dreading, I, I do advise clients that, you know, it's a deferment, not a forgiveness, and I think they are, there's a misconception that a lot of people are counting on the government coming through and forgiving, but we don't know that, you know, and right. some say, well, you know, I'm, I'm just going to save my money and not pay, and I'm like, you're just accumulating a bigger debt that you're going right. <laughs> to. Right, and, and those debts, those debts are, they, they fall in different categories, so mortgage debt, generally tends to be with banks or lenders who are highly regulated. So there are laws that can protect um, people such as women or minorities or people who are on some type of public benefit. There are laws that can be used in state or federal court to uh, protect those particular individuals from say a predatory lender or a lender who's being unfair. When it comes to uh, a lease, when it comes to uh, tenants and properties, that's a whole lot different. So if it's a mom and pop lease on a, on a residential property or a commercial property with you know, different units, well, there's no federal law that applies to that. Right. So you've got to deal with the state law, you've got to deal with the good graces of the landlord and you know, possibly federal agencies, or I'm sorry, state agencies, city or county agencies that might be able to help. Right. Well, Herb, this is, thank you. This is super helpful. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna, uh, do you have a website or uh, where, where can people find you? What's the best way? Uh, the name of my company is Hearthstone, like the home Hearthstone Legal Group. And that's at herbertwiggins.com, H-E-R-B-E-R-T, W-I-G-G-I-N-S dot com. I'm on Facebook. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Tumblr. So the links to those sites will be on the Facebook. I'm sorry, they'll be on the website page. So people can find those. And uh, 
I look forward to speaking with uh, those individuals. My phone number is there as well. Yeah, and I'll, and, and I'll definitely post up, like uh, I forgot to mention to you, but I will post up the phone number and the links so that way people can uh, advocate and find you directly. Uh, you perform a great service. Uh, this is super helpful. I really appreciate you taking the time today to talk to us today. Well, thank you, Sanjay, for setting it up. And uh, thank you for your questions. I enjoyed it. And uh, I look forward to following up with uh, you and other individuals who may have questions about it. Perfect.